Hello and welcome back to the PSD to HTML flat design build. In this lesson, we're going to jump down to the last column in our footer and we're going to style it. And our last column is going to have a different background color. And if we jump over to Photoshop, we can see what it's going to look like. It's going to have that same orange color that we've used before. It's going to have a couple of text fields that are nice and large and flat with a lot of padding inside of them. And then a button which takes up the same amount of width as the inputs. And it's just going to have a name text field, an email text field, and a sign me up button. So let's jump over to our text editor. I'm going to go to index.html and I've moved everything into the site 20 folder. So all the changes we make in this lesson will be saved there. And in our third column here, which also has a class of column one third. It has a second class as well of column hyphen registration. And we're gonna use that second class to give it the background color and to change our heading color here to white. Because if you remember, let's go back to our Photoshop file. The heading for our other two columns is this dark gray color, but our heading for our third column needs to be white so that we can read it. And we're gonna use that extra column registration class to help out with that. So let's jump over to main.css. And then in our footer section, we have our social list items here. And just after our last social list item, we'll skip a couple lines and we'll start with a rule for the column registration class, which is the second class that we added to that third column. And here, since we're just going to put one property here, we can put all of this on one line. I'm going to set the background color equal to F26C4E, which again is that same orange color we've used before. So let's go ahead and save that and make sure that worked. We'll jump back into our browser and refresh. And there we go. Now, if you look really closely, we can see a small problem with our layout. Remember, we gave each of these columns a width of 33.333%, which when you add these three up, it gets us really close to 100%, but not quite 100%. And you'll notice over here on the right that the width doesn't quite match up with the width of the item above it. The width is a little bit narrower than the width of the content in this two column setup just above it. And that's because that 33.333%, if you multiply that times three, it just gives you 99.999%, which is almost 100%, but not quite there. So there are a number of ways we can fix this. The way I'm gonna fix it is I'm just gonna set up our last column. Whenever we have three columns in a three column setup, I'm gonna set up the last column to float to the right instead of to the left. So it's really gonna be the same width, the only difference is it's going to float to the right so that it will go right up against the right edge of that content area. So let's go back into our code, into our CSS, and let's make that happen. What we're going to do is we're going to go up to the column one third section. And just after that, we're going to create another rule for dot column hyphen one hyphen third colon last hyphen child. So if that is the last child of its parent element, if it's the last column in that setup, then instead of floating left, we're gonna float to the right. So let's save that, jump back into our browser, and again, take a look over here at the right edge where the right edge of that orange area doesn't quite meet up with the right edge of that green area. And if we refresh our browser now, you'll see that those right edges now line up perfectly. So that gets us where we need to be for that. Now I'm gonna come into the heading text here and turn that white so that we can read it a little bit better. We'll jump back into our code and we'll scroll down to our column registration section and we'll create another rule just below that for column hyphen registration space H2. So the H2 tag inside of that is gonna have a color, which is our text color of pound FFF, which is white. So we'll save that, refresh, and there we go, that looks better. So now that we've got that out of the way, we can jump in and style the form itself. So I'm gonna start by styling the inputs, which are gonna be these two text fields here. Let's jump back into our CSS, and we'll skip a couple of lines after that column registration H2, and we'll create another rule for column hyphen registration space input. So any input fields inside that column registration 
we're going to do a few things. First of all, I want to get rid of the default border that the browsers are applying to it. So we're going to set our border to none. Then I'm going to put some padding inside of these input fields. And we'll put about 10 pixels of padding there. And we're going to make our width 100% of the parent element. So let's save that, refresh our page, and there we go. Now, as you can see, the width is a little bit wider than we need it to be. We made it 100%, but then we added padding to it, so that made it even wider than 100%. So in order to fix that, all we need to do is, once again, point to the box sizing property and give it a value of border hyphen box. Save that and refresh. And now we have the width where we need it to be. We just need to space these out a little bit. So I'm gonna put some bottom margin on these inputs so that we can have a little bit of space between the inputs and between the input and the button. So uh, for that column registration space input rule, we're also going to add a margin bottom property and we'll put 20 pixels of margin on the bottom of these inputs. So once again, let's save that, jump back into our browser and refresh. And now we have a little more breathing room between our inputs and our buttons. So now let's get our button where we need it to be. Right now it has a gray background color, which isn't too exciting. Uh, let's, uh, let's first of all make it a little bit wider than it currently is. We want to make it the same width as our text field. So we're going to make it 100% of the width of that content area. And we're going to change the background color as well. So let's jump back into our CSS. And we'll skip a couple lines after the input rule and we'll create another rule for column space or column hyphen registration, excuse me, space dot BTN. So anything with a class of BTN inside that column registration. And if we go to our HTML, uh, we have a button element here, but that button element has a class of BTN. And so we're using this class of BTN on anchor tags and buttons. It doesn't matter. It's going to look the same no matter which element we end up using. So we'll go back to our CSS file. So again, for any button inside the column registration column, uh, we're going to set the width to 100%. And we're also going to change the background color. So we'll set background color equal to, and this is gonna be kind of a brighter orangey yellow color. And we'll set that to a value of F2C24D. So let's go ahead and save that, refresh our page. And there we go, that looks a lot better. So the last thing I want to do with that button is to give it a little bit more bottom margin just so that it uh, has a little bit more space before we get to the very bottom of the page. So we'll jump back into our code and we'll just apply a margin bottom of 40 pixels. Save that and refresh. And now we have a little bit more breathing room down there at the bottom of that registration form. And that looks good. So we've now, in effect, finished our design. So obviously we would have some more pages we would want to create. We're not going to cover those pages in this particular lesson. We just wanted to cover taking that Photoshop file and converting it to a near pixel perfect representation in HTML and CSS. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.